Fernando Álvarez de Toledo y Pimentel, 3rd Duke of Alba, GE, KOGF, GR, the 29th of October 1507 to the 11th of December 1582, known as the Grand Duke of Alba, Spanish, Grand Duque de Alba in Spain and the Iron Duke, Dutch, Eijzeren Hertog in the Netherlands, was a Spanish noble, general and diplomat. He was titled the 3rd Duke of Alba de Tormes, 4th Marquis of Coria, 3rd Count of Salvatierra de Tormes, 2nd Count of Pedrajita, 8th Lord of Valdecarnella, Grandee of Spain, and a Knight of the Order of the Golden Fleece. His motto in Latin was Deo Patrum Nostrorum, which in English means, To the God of Our Fathers. He was an advisor of King Charles I of Spain, Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, and his successor, Philip II of Spain, Mayordomo Mayor of both, member of their councils of state and war, governor of the Duchy of Milan, 1555 to 1556, viceroy of the Kingdom of Naples, 1556 to 1558, governor of the Netherlands, 1567 to 1573, and viceroy and constable of the Kingdom of Portugal, 1580 to 1582. He represented Philip II in negotiating Philip's betrothal to Elizabeth of Valois and Anna of Austria, who were the third and fourth, and last, wives of the king. By some historians he is considered the best general of his generation and one of the best generals ever. Although a tough leader, he was respected by his troops. He touched their sentiments e.g. by addressing them in his speeches as, "...gentlemen soldiers," senores soldadas, but was also popular among them for daring statements such as, the kings use men like oranges, first they squeeze the juice and then throw away the peel. Alba especially distinguished himself in the conquest of Tunis 1535 during the Ottoman Habsburg Wars when Carlos I defeated Hayreddin Barbarossa and returned the Spanish monarchy to predominance over the western Mediterranean Sea. He also distinguished himself in the Battle of Mulberg 1547, where the army of Emperor Charles defeated the German Protestant princes. On December 26, 1566 he received the Golden Rose, the blessed sword and hat granted by Pope Pius V, through the papal brief Solent Romani Pontifices, in recognition of his singular efforts in favor of Catholicism and for being considered one of his champions. She is best known for his actions against the Revolt of the Netherlands, where he instituted the Council of Troubles, and repeatedly defeated the troops of William of Orange and Louis of Nassau during the first stages of the Eighty Years' War. He is also known for the brutalities during the capture of Mechelen, Zutphen, Narden and Harlem. In spite of these military successes, the Dutch revolt was not broken and Alba was recalled to Spain. His last military successes were in the Portuguese succession crisis of 1580, winning the Battle of Alcantara and conquering that kingdom for Philip II. Spain unified all the kingdoms of the Iberian Peninsula and consequently expanded its overseas territories. Early years Fernando was born in Pedrajita, province of Avila, on 29 October 1507. He was the son of Garcia Álvarez de Toledo y Suniga, heir of Fadrique Álvarez de Toledo and Enriquez de Quiñones, two Duke of Alba de Tormes, and of Beatriz Pimentel, daughter of Rodrigo Alonso Pimentel, IV Count, I Duke of Benevente and his wife, Maria Pacheco. Fernando was orphaned at age three when his father, Garcia, died during a campaign on the island of Jerba in Africa in 1510. At the age of six, Fernando accompanied his grandfather, the second Duke of Alba on a military mission to capture Navarre. His youth and education were typical for Castilian nobility of the age. He was educated at the ducal court of the House of Alba, located in the castle palace of Alba de Tormes, by two Italian preceptors, Bernardo Gentile, a Sicilian Benedictine, and Severo Marini and by the Spanish Renaissance poet and writer Juan Boscan. He was educated in Roman Catholicism and Humanism. He mastered Latin and New French, English and German. In 1524, when he was 17, he joined the troops of Constable of Castile, Inigo Fernández de Velasco, two Duke of Frias, during the capture of Fuenterrabia, then occupied by France and Navarre. For his role in the siege, Fernando was appointed governor of Fuenterrabia. When his grandfather Fadrique died in 1531, the ducal title passed to Fernando as the firstborn son of Garcia. Throughout his adulthood, he served the Spanish monarchs Charles I and his successor Philip II. Topic: <inaudible> Mayordomo Mayor to the Spanish Kings. 
Topic. In 1541 Fernando Álvarez de Toledo was named Mayordomo Mayor del Rey de España High Steward to the King of Spain by Charles I of Spain. Alba kept this office in court until the death of the monarch in 1556. In 1546, Charles I invested Fernando, the third Duke of Alba Grand Master as Knight of the Illustrious Order of the Golden Fleece. From 1548 King Charles intensified the preparations of Prince Philip as his successor in the Spanish monarchy, and he named Duke of Alba Mayordomo Mayor of his son to prepare Philip for his new role. Fernando took Philip on a tour around Europe that lasted until 1551. Fernando accompanied Philip to England to attend his marriage to Mary Tudor. The Duke was one of 15 grandees of Spain who attended the ceremony in the Abbey of Winchester on 25 July 1554. After the death of Charles, the new King Philip II maintained Fernando III Duke of Alba as Mayordomo Mayor until the death of the Duke in 1582. In 1563, King Philip II created the title Duke of Hawaiscare to be bestowed on the heir of the Dukes of Alba. Fadric Álvarez de Toledo, son of Fernando became first Duke of Hawaiscare. In 1566, Alba's son and heir, Fadric, broke his promise of marriage to Magdalena de Guzman, Lady of Queen Anne of Austria, which led to his arrest and imprisonment in the castle of La Mota in Valladolid. The following year he was released so he could go to Flanders with his father to serve in the military. In 1578 Philip II ordered the case against Fadric reopened. It was discovered that in order to avoid marriage, Fadric had secretly married Maria de Toledo, daughter of Garcia Álvarez de Toledo and Osorio, IV Marquis of Villafranca del Bierzo, using a permit issued for that purpose by his father the Duke of Alba. Fadric was sent to prison, in the castle of La Moda. Fernando, Duke of Alba was banished from the court for one year for "...breaking the strict court protocol." The duke went into exile in Useda, where his secretaries Fernando de Albornoz and Esteban Ibarra likewise spent their punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Military commands Against the Ottomans and French after Fernando had become the third Duke of Alba in 1532, Charles V sent him to Vienna to help defend the city against an Ottoman invasion army. No battle ensued as the Ottomans, having lost momentum due to time lost during the Siege of Guns, decided not to advance against Vienna and retreated from the field. He was accompanied by the soldier poet Garcilaso de la Vega, who later dedicated part of his Eclogue II to the House of Alba and its Duke. The Duke's first military command to engage in battle was in the conquest of Tunis. In early June 1535 at Colliery, he embarked with the military force commanded by the Marquis del Vasto. On 14 July, the fortress of La Goleta was seized, and a week later the army took the city of Tunis which was defended by Hayreddin Barbarossa. Thus Spain regained control over the western Mediterranean Sea. In 1542, he led the Spanish troops against the French army, ending the siege of Perpignan. The siege was a decisive victory for Alba and one of the worst defeats of Francis I during the French offensive of 1542. In Germany 1546 in 1547, Charles I, in his capacity as Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor engaged with the Protestant forces in the Schmalkaldic War. The Duke of Alba was in charge of Tercios, the elite Spanish ground troops during the Battle of Mulberg on the banks of the River Elbe. A flanking attack by Alba's Tercios was largely responsible for the Imperial Army's decisive victory against the Elector of Saxony. In Milan and Naples 1555 In later years, the focus of conflict between France and Spain had moved to the Italian peninsula. Alba was sent to Italy as commander-in-chief of the Spanish Habsburg army in Italy, and became governor of Milan in 1555, and viceroy of Naples in 1556. The newly appointed Pope Paul IV, an enemy of the Habsburgs, prompted King Henry II of France to expel the Spanish from Italy. Papal troops joined the French for this aim. 
In July 1556 the Pope declared Philip II was removed from the title King of Naples. Alba did not hesitate and marched on Rome at the head of 12,000 Spanish soldiers. He financed the campaign, in part, by obtaining a loan of 430,000 ducats from Bona Sforza, Dowager Queen of Poland. The loan became known as Neapolitan Sums and was never repaid. The Pope called for a truce, giving time for a French army commanded by Francis, Duke of Guise, to march on Naples. The Spanish intercepted the French and defeated them in the Battle of San Quentin. Without French support, the papal troops were overwhelmed by the Spanish and the Duke of Alba entered Rome in September 1557. The Pope had to sue for peace. In 1559, peace was concluded, between the kings of Spain and France with the Peace of Cateau Cambrasis. With this treaty, Spain had freed resources allowing colonization in the Americas. The treaty lasted for a century, and the Italian peninsula entered a prolonged period of rest. Peace between Spain and France was sealed by marriage between the Spanish monarch the twice-widowed Philip II and Isabel de Valois, the daughter of the French king Henry II. During the royal wedding, which was held in Paris, Fernando III Duke of Alba represented Philip II by proxy. <laughs> Governor of the Netherlands 1567 from August to October 1566, the iconoclasm Dutch, took place in the Netherlands, during which Calvinist Protestant followers destroyed a number of monasteries and churches and defaced or destroyed Catholic statues. To tackle both civil and religious rebels, King Philip II sent the third Duke of Alba to Brussels on the 22nd of August 1567, at the head of a powerful army. On arrival, Alba replaced Margaret of Parma, the sister of the Spanish king, as head of the civil jurisdiction. He decided that the local nobility was in open rebellion against the king and supported the new Protestant teachings, heresy in his view. A few days later, on 5 September 1567, Alba established the Council of Troubles, popularly known in the Netherlands as the Court of Blood to prosecute those responsible for the riots of 1566, especially those who were deemed heretics. Alba also targeted the local Catholic nobility, who favoured dialogue and opposed outside intervention. Two of the three heads of the Flemish nobility, the Count of Egmont, a Catholic general for Philip II, who had led the cavalry that defeated the French at the Battle of San Quentin, and Philip de Montmorency, Count of Horn, were arrested. The court sentenced both counts to death. The Major of Antwerpen, Anthony van Stralen, Lord of Mercasem and Jan van Kassombrut were other famous victims of the bloody repression, along with a large group of other heretics. The condemned persons were executed on 5 June 1568 in the Town Hall Square in Brussels. Alba had little confidence in Flemish justice, which he perceived as sympathetic to the defendants, and witnessed the executions in person. The maintenance of the troops in Flanders entailed substantial economic costs. The Duke decided to impose new taxes on the population. Some cities, including Utrecht, refused to pay the tithe and declared a rebellion, which quickly spread throughout the Netherlands. William the Silent, the Prince of Orange, enlisted the help of the French Huguenots, and started to actively support the rebellion. William and the Huguenots took many Dutch cities. The Spanish troops advanced under banners with the Latin legend Pro Lege, Reg, et Greg, which in English means for the law, the king, and the people, literally, the flock. In 1572 the Spanish army carried out the Spanish fury at Mechelen, retaking and sacking the city after the rebel garrison had left. From there, Spain retook Zutphen and Narden. The Spanish siege of Harlem, characterized by brutality and savagery on both sides, culminated in the surrender of the city and the execution of all the garrison, estimated at 2,000 men. The subsequent siege of Alkmaar was unsuccessful however, and was the first defeat in a full-scale engagement for the Spanish troops during the Dutch Revolt. The prolonged military campaigns and the harsh repression of the rebel citizenry earned the Third Duke of Alba the nickname, the Iron Duke in the Netherlands, and he became an important element of the anti-Spanish black legend. His reputation was used for propaganda purposes by rebel statesman Philips of Marnix, Lord of St. Aldegan to further strengthen anti-Spanish sentiments in the Netherlands. In spite of continuous military action, the political situation in the Netherlands had not turned in favour of the Spanish crown. 
After five years of repression, more than 5,000 executions and numerous complaints to the Spanish court, Philip II decided to change policy and relieve the Duke of Alba. The monarch sent Luis de Requesens to replace Alba. De Requesens tried to appease the situation by giving concessions to the rebels. Alba returned to Spain in 1573. Nevertheless, the Duke still had influence in the Royal Council. Alba belonged to the conservative Spanish faction called Albistas or Imperialists. This faction included the Inquisitor General Fernando de Valdez y Salas, the House of Pimentel, the Duke de Albuquerque, and other members of the House of Álvarez de Toledo. The Albistas advised the king to take a firm stand in the Netherlands. The Albistas' hardline position was hotly contested by the liberal Ebolistas or humanists, led by Rui Gomez de Silva, Prince of Eboli and his secretary Francisco de Arasso. After the death of the Prince of Eboli in 1573, the royal secretary Antonio Pérez went on to lead the liberal faction and began his association with Ana de Mendoza de la Cerda, Princess of Eboli. Against the Albastas, urging, King Philip II himself publicly acknowledged that, "...it is not possible to carry Flanders forward by way of war." Political concessions by Luis de Requesens failed to end the rebellion in the Netherlands and hostilities soon resumed. These failures of the Ebolistas to end the Dutch revolt raised the distrust of the king, and Philip II again granted the Duke of Alba an important position in court. Topic. Portuguese succession 1580 after the death of King Sebastian of Portugal, who had no heirs, in the Battle of Alcacer Quibir in 1578, the crown fell to his great uncle Cardinal Henry I of Portugal. The death of the latter, without any appointed heirs, led to the Portuguese succession crisis of 1580. One of the claimants to the throne, Antonio, prior of Crato, a bastard son of Infante Luis, Duke of Beja, and only grandson through the male line of King Manuel I of Portugal, was proclaimed king in June 1580. Philip II, through his mother Isabella of Portugal, also a grandson of Manuel I, did not recognize Antonio as king of Portugal. The king appointed Fernando, Duke of Alba, as captain-general of his army. The duke was 73 years old and ill at the time. Fernando mustered his forces, estimated at 20,000 men, in Badajoz, and in June 1580 crossed the Spanish-Portuguese border and moved to Lisbon. In late August he defeated a Portuguese army at the Battle of Alcantara and entered Lisbon. This cleared the way for Philip II who became Philip I of Portugal, and created a dynastic union spanning all of Iberia under the Spanish crown. King Philip II rewarded Fernando with the titles of First Viceroy of Portugal and Constable of Portugal on July 18, 1580. With these titles Fernando represented the Spanish monarch in Portugal and was second in hierarchy only after the king in Portugal. Fernando held both titles until his death in 1582. Topic. Marriage and children Topic. His first child, Fernando de Toledo (1527–1591), was an illegitimate son with a miller's daughter in the town of La Aldejuela. The duke was married in 1527 to his cousin Maria Enriquez de Toledo y Guzman (died 1583), daughter of Diego Enriquez de Guzman, three count of Alba de Liste, with whom he had four children. Garcia Álvarez de Toledo y Enriquez de Guzmán, the 23rd of July 1530 to 1548. Fadrique Álvarez de Toledo y Enriquez de Guzmán, IV Duke of Alba, the 21st of November 1537 to the 3rd of September 1585. Diego Álvarez de Toledo y Enriquez de Guzmán (1541–1583), Count of Larin and Constable of Navarre by his marriage, held on the 24th of March 1565, with Brianda de Beaumont (1540–1588), daughter of Luis de Beaumont. He was succeeded by Antonio Álvarez de Toledo y Beaumont, v. Duke of Alba de Tormes (1568–29 January 1639). Beatriz Álvarez de Toledo y Enriquez de Guzmán died 1637, married Álvaro Pérez Osorio, v. Marquis of Astorga. <laughs> Later years and death 
Alba died in Lisbon on the 11th of December 1582 at the age of 75. He was given the last rites by the famous Luís de Granada. His remains were transferred to Alba de Tormes, where he was buried in the convent of San Leonardo. In 1619 they were transferred to the Convento de San Esteban, Salamanca. In 1983 a mausoleum was erected over his grave, funded by the Provincial Deputation of Salamanca. <laughs> Ancestry Topic Notes Topic Topic Bibliography Topic Hobbes, Nicholas, two thousand seven Grandes de España in Spanish. Retrieved the fifteenth of October two thousand eight Instituto de Salazar y Castro Elenco de Grandezas y Titulo Nobilarios Españoles in Spanish. Periodic publication. Falco y Osorio, María del Rosario. Duquesa de Berwick y de Alba. Catalogo de las colecciones expuestas en las vitrinas del Palacio de Liria. Madrid, 1898. Fernández Álvarez, Manuel. El Duque de Hierro, Fernando Álvarez de Toledo, 3 de Alba. Colección Espasa Forum. Espasa Calpe. Madrid. 2007. ISBN 978-84-670-2625-2. Cayman, Henry. El Gran Duque de Alba. Cuarta edición, Cartanay. La Esfera de los Libros. Madrid. 2004 7. ISBN 978 Maltby, William S. L. Gran Duque de Alba. Prologo Jacobo Ceruela, Traducion Eva Rodriguez Halfter. Segunda edición. Ediciones Atalanta. Villor. 2007. ISBN 978-84-935313-8-6. Junta de Castilla y León. Consejería de Educación y Cultura. Los Álvarez de Toledo Nobleza Viva. María del Pilar García Panacho. España, 1998. ISBN 84 7846 775 0. Alba, General and Servant to the Crown. Edited by Mauritz Eben, Margriet Lacey Brugen, and Roloff van Havel tot Westerflyer. Curvanserae. 2013. ISBN 978 94 90258 08 5.